what's going on guys this is it dreams and in this tutorial i'm gonna be talking to you guys through the word super in java and as well as a bit of inheritance and polymorphism and i'm gonna show you how you can make use of it so all right if you want to follow me just make sure that you've got these four classes main class and then lion and then monkey and animal all right and the idea down here is that this animal class will be our super class and these two down here will be the subclasses all right and the reason is for example if you ask me what is an animal i can say well an animal can be a monkey or a lion can be a dog or something else and then if you ask me what is a monkey or what is a lion so i would say well these two are animals that makes sense right okay so and then this one here this will be our main class where we're gonna call everything and create the objects all right so before i start this uh, this body down here i'm just gonna say that this class will be abstract and for just for now just trust me on this and i'm gonna explain you guys in a minute what, what this means and then I'm just going to say every animal has number of legs. So I'm, I'm going to say public, public int, and then and legs for number of legs. Yeah. And then I'm going to set it initially equals to zero. All right. So now I'm going to create a setter method in Java. So just let me comment out for you. Setter method, method, just like this. And this will allow us to set the number of legs for each animal uh, that we create okay so i'm just gonna say public so public uh, void and then let's name it uh, number num legs just like this and we're gonna give a parameter of integer and then we're gonna say n legs just like this and you might be asking all right this integer down here is not the same as this one no this one is only within the scope of this method down here okay and this one is within the scope of everything that comes below if that makes sense well i'll show you in a minute so in order to access this method this uh, integer uh, variable down here i'm just going to say that uh, this which is a current instance of the current class so i'm going to say this n legs equals n legs so basically it's just saying all right this number of legs this one here the current instance of the current class equals this one down here and this will be the parameter that we're going to be passing through right so now i'm going to create a, an abstract method just trust me on this for now abstract abstract just uh, abstract and then i'm going to say int because it's going to return an integer and the idea down here is to return the, the number of uh, legs that each animal has so for example uh, the reason i'm creating an abstract class is because the subclasses will have to override this method no matter what and abstract says all right you can create this method and the subclasses will have to override the method otherwise i'm not going to let you run the code you want to trust me on this all right you'll see in a bit so now i'm just going to say uh, get num of legs get number i'm just going to say get legs and by the way this is a setter uh, not setter getter uh, getter method in java okay so now i'm going to create one constructor so i'm going to say public i'm just going to say a uh, control space and then i'm going to add this one down here and i'm going to delete this i don't need this then i'm going to create another one um no i can't create so i'm just going to copy and paste just like this and here the parameter will be int let's say int um and legs we'll say and legs again just like this and now inside 
of this parameter, sorry, inside of this parameter, I'm just going to say, I'm going to call this method down here, the setter method, yeah, and I'm going to pass the value of integer, just like this. I'm going to say uh, num legs, and then I'm going to say n legs. All right, don't let this confuse you, yeah? Basically, I'm just calling this method down here, and I'm passing the parameter of this method down here. Okay, so basically, it's just going to set the number of legs whenever we call the constructor method of the super class. And I'm going to show you now how to use the super, the super uh, keyword, all right? So, okay, in order to use anything from this class, we need to extend. And this is called inheritance, okay? Because every animal, every monkey is an animal, therefore, we can get some of the properties from the animal class, okay? So I'm gonna say extends animal, just like this. And the reason why I've got a error right down here is because I need to add the abstract method. Remember I said, um, when you create an abstract method, every subclass needs to override that method, otherwise it won't work, yeah? And the reason I've got another error down here is because I need to return something. So basically I've got this integer. Integer means that you have to return an integer. So I'm gonna say return, uh, return this dot num legs. Yeah, so basically I'm just gonna return this number of legs, this one down here, okay? This one, I'm just gonna return this one. But basically, it's not going to be zero because I'm going to change that in a minute using the super keyword. But just stay tuned on this, all right? So now I'm going to create a constructor, a constructor. And what I'm going to say down here is I'm just going to say, okay, I'm just going to say int, int, uh, let me call it x, yeah, and then what I'm going to do is simply say super, just like this. And then what, what I can do right now is, hold on, just let me make sure everything is all right. So, sorry, I don't need the integer down here, my bad. Yep, I don't need an integer down here because we're going to call the super, the super method of the super class and this is what it means it says okay it says all right call the super method of this this the super constructor sorry of this the super class okay so we're gonna call this method this constructor sorry and basically you see this integer down here this is the value that we can pass when you call the integer the the super the super keyword in java so for example a monkey has two legs and I'm just gonna leave it like that, all right? And just one, another thing. This is for my friend Ishmael, and basically he was asking me what override means at override. Basically, this is just for readability, and it just lets the other people know that this method was overridden by another one, yeah? So that's all it is, okay? So now I'm gonna come to Lion, and basically, why not cut and paste all of this? just like this, yeah, and then I've got an error because I need to call this one lion, and then I'm gonna change the number of legs of two, for, for two, sorry, and the reason why I still got uh, an error is because lion is not an animal yet, and we need to extend animals, Ani animals just like that and as you can see everything will go away hopefully uh let me see sorry i just i just said animals not animal yeah has to be like that and everything uh, gone away so now everything is done and i can come to the main class and start creating my object yeah so for for instance i can say animal 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 let's say j equals new monkey because every monkey is an animal yeah therefore i can print uh, j dot number of legs 
as well I can create an animal of type lion and I'm gonna I'm just gonna say Liz oops sorry guys equals new new lion just like this and then I can say system dot out dot print line and Liz sorry guys Liz dot number of legs so if I run this you see that I've got two and four basically this two is because J is a monkey and a monkey has two legs and this four down here is because a lion has four legs yeah all right you remember I said okay I'm gonna explain this abstract class so basically in Java when you define a public class as abstract that means that you cannot create objects from it all right and just let me show you if I create animal and let me say uh, John equals to new animal as you can see I've got an error and what it says cannot instantiate the init the type animal and this is something that you have to think before you code and the reason why is because in my situation animal to create an object of animal that would be too something too too how I'm gonna say it, something too big because if you create an animal of if you if you create an object of animal you then you'd need to specify what kind of animal would be I don't know if that makes sense but think for a minute and that will will make sense therefore I don't need to create an animal object because every animal or all animal or, or let me put it this way an animal can be of different species and if I say uh, what is a monkey a monkey is an animal what's an animal an animal can be a monkey lion dog cat this and that all right so yeah that's the reason that you may want to use uh, that okay so now if I run the code as you can see everything is perfect one last thing I just want to show you guys <coughs> something uh, for example if we if I create a method uh, public void and then say something say some and it's, got, it's not going to see any arguments it's just going to say system sorry system dot out and say hello I am a monkey yeah so now if we try to use this method that we've created with J and as you can see J is a new monkey yeah so if I say uh, if I say J dot say something as you can see I'm not able to get this method and the reason why is because monkey this monkey down here is just treated as an animal and the Java compiler is just seen J as a just just as a normal animal and is not treating him as a monkey so if you want to get methods sorry guys if you want to get methods from the monkey class you need to cast it all right so this is how you do it so I'm just gonna say just like this I'm gonna say monkey I need to cast it uh, monkey then I'm gonna say J dot say some as you can see now I've got access to this method which was <coughs> in the monkey class All right so just let me run that for you guys and as you can see it says hello I am a monkey so that's it guys thanks for watching my tutorial hopefully that makes sense for you guys and this was a bit of uh, polymorphism and inheritance in Java and if I didn't explain things properly please let me know what you need to know and I'll get in touch very very soon thanks for watching my tutorial and don't forget to subscribe take care